one of the hardest things for emerging leaders to learn is how to let go. Entrepreneurs are notorious for falling into the do-it-yourself habit. That might be good uh, for home repair people, but not for business people, especially not rising executives. This is a hard lesson for young managers to learn, and it's understandable. The reason they've been promoted is because they've been able to accomplish a great deal by working solo as individual contributors. With more responsibility, they must learn to disengage from areas where they're competent and shift into areas where they're less comfortable, i.e. managing others. So how do you teach managers to delegate? First and foremost, you need to show them the way. Bosses have to coach them through the process and make it clear that they're responsible for getting the work of the team done, not doing it themselves. Simple, sure, but it's a hard lesson for many who like to dive into details. Here's another approach that works. Find your source of energy. As an individual contributor, there's a great satisfaction in doing things yourself, especially when you're good at it. Analysts like to make the books balance. Marketers like to design good promotions. Salespeople like to close a deal. But as a manager, you suddenly become one step removed from the action. You miss the juice, the satisfaction, and sometimes the thrill of doing it well. As a leader, you must take pride in what the team has done. That becomes your source of energy. And you can derive even more energy and satisfaction from enabling the team to do more than it ever dreamt possible. A well-focused leader stays on track, in part because that's his job, but also because such concentration delivers the kind of satisfaction that he or she may have felt when they were flying solo. Now their energy comes from managing the team.